From the tides of the ocean to the ebb and flow of our own emotions, the moon has had a powerful and often mysterious hold on us. It has been worshipped and studied, utilized in tracking the passage of time, and being our beacon of light in centuries worth of dark and dangerous nights. But beyond its beauty and wonder, what secrets does the moon hold about the human experience? And does it truly have the power to impact our sleep, fertility, and mood? The moon's bright, gentle glow watches over us every night, keeping us company in this vast, open universe. Despite its beauty, it's actually made up of rock and dust, the surface scarred by craters and valleys, each one a reminder of its journey in becoming Earth's only natural satellite. So, since it hasn't always been with us, how did the moon come to be? There are a few theories on this, but the most widely accepted is the giant impact hypothesis. This theory suggests that the moon was formed about 4.5 billion years ago when a Mars-sized planet called Theia collided with Earth. The impact was so powerful that it caused a massive amount of debris to be blasted off of the Earth's surface, and eventually, this debris came together to form the moon. Assuming this theory is true, then one might consider the Earth to be the mother of the moon, which may help explain why we feel such a strong connection to it. Even the moon's rotation is synchronized with Earth, so we always see the bright side and never what's been called the dark side of the moon. And, although their rotations are in sync, the moon is actually moving away from Earth at a rate of about 3.8 centimeters per year. That might not seem like a lot, but over millions of years it adds up, and little by little, the pull of the moon will become less and less powerful. But as it stands, the moon is fiercely powerful and so enthralling that it has inspired numerous tales about supernatural creatures such as werewolves and vampires. The Mesopotamians even feared it enough to engrave a tablet, dated all the way back in the year 172 BC, that described how to ward off the evil effects of a lunar eclipse, which was thought to threaten the life of the king. You can find it on display at the British Museum in London. But it doesn't stop there. Mythological stories regarding the moon can be found across all cultures throughout history, from the Mayan queen of the night, Awelix, to the Roman moon goddess Luna, who rides a chariot through the sky, to the Chinese goddess of the moon, Chang'e, who watches over us from her lunar palace, being exiled to the moon as punishment for drinking an elixir of immortality. It's clear that for centuries, the moon has been both inspiring and intriguing us. But does the pool of the moon have any real power over us physically? One of the most noticeable effects of the moon on humans is its influence on sleep. Research has shown that people tend to sleep less and have disrupted sleep patterns during the full moon phase. The lunar cycle, or when the moon orbits around Earth and Earth orbits around the sun, lasts on average 29.53 days and can be broken down into four primary moon phases. New moon, first quarter, full moon, and last quarter. There are also four secondary phases, waxing crescent, waxing gibbous, waning gibbous, and waning crescent. The full moon phase is named such because from our perspective, the full disc is illuminated. In regards to sleep, a 2013 study from the University of Basel in Switzerland found that people took an average of 5 minutes longer to fall asleep and slept for 20 minutes less overall as measured by the EEG around a full moon compared to the rest of the month. Their brain activity also showed that the amount of deep sleep cycles that they experienced dropped by about 30%. Researchers could not explain these changes by exposure to bright moonlight since the participants all slept in dark, controlled environments. In perhaps the most extensive study on this topic, Professor of Biology Horacio de la Iglesia and team analyzed sleep patterns in three indigenous Argentinian communities and 464 American college students living in a major city. 
Regardless of location and amount of artificial light exposure, all groups fell asleep later and slept for less time in the week preceding the full moon. So whenever you find that you can't sleep, look out the window. You may notice the full moon staring back at you, playing a role in your sleeplessness. You may be skeptical of claims made by women that their menstrual cycles align with the phases of the moon, but they may actually have some good reason for the correlation. Even the term itself, menstruation, originated from the Latin word menses, meaning month, and the Greek word mene, which refers to the moon. This is because in ancient times, the menstrual cycle and pregnancy itself was thought to be linked to the moon, as a woman's cycle and the aforementioned lunar cycle both last around 29 days. This may also explain why so many lunar deities aren't gods, but goddesses. Modern evidence for the moon's effects on human fertility are conflicting. Contrarians can provide studies showing no correlation, while proponents may bring up ongoing research that shows how the moon's light or gravitational pull might affect our fertility through impacting hormones like melatonin and estrogen. And while these effects may be cloudy when it comes to humans, the moon's influence is more concrete when it comes to other forms of life. For example, despite their rock-like appearance, the corals you can find on a coral reef are actually animals, and the reproductive cycles have been found to align with the full moon along with many species of fish. Many nocturnal animals utilize the glow of the moon to help feed, such as the European nightjar, but the moon aids them beyond just their meals. During their amazing migrations from Northern Europe all the way to Sub-Saharan Africa, they have been routinely found to embark on long flights just as the moon starts to wane following a full moon. Some animals interact with the moon in more stunning ways, like scorpions, whose exoskeletons marvelously glow in the dark from the UV rays of the moon. But good luck seeing one in the wild. They are reluctant to show their glow and are found seeking shelter in the moonlight. We don't know exactly why this occurs, but it may be due to would-be predators and the threat they pose in this vulnerable state. So, we've explored the notion that the moon is capable of affecting us physically by altering our sleep and fertility, but is it really possible that it could also affect our mental state or inner being? History suggests that it is. Some 2,500 years ago, Hippocrates wrote, One who is seized with terror, fright, and madness during the night is being visited by the goddess of the moon. In Shakespeare's Othello, you can find a line stating, It is the very error of the moon. She comes more near earth and makes men mad. This was, at one point, a widely held belief. Even the terms lunacy or lunatic referring to insanity, are derived from the Latin luna, meaning moon. In today's age, it may not be as widely accepted, but it's very much a topic for debate. Anecdotally, if you ask hospital workers throughout the world, many swear by the idea that during a full moon, ER visits and hospital admissions will be much higher. There was even a study published in 2011 in the World Journal of Surgery that found that 40% of medical professionals believe lunar patterns have an impact on human behavior. As intriguing as that sounds, it's worth noting that the science is out on this one. Who knows what the future will hold? Maybe with more evidence? we will one day fully understand the moon's influence on our planet and on us as human beings. But for now, it will remain a mystery. So, the next time that you step outside in the cold of the night and the only thing between you and the moon is a clear night sky, be awed by its gentle beauty. And don't forget to stay coziest.